Hey there, welcome back. Hey, she wants to fly, and her name is Ingrid. She's a penguin, and she's determined to do something no other penguin has ever done. She wants to fly. Oh, and one thing her story is doing is lifting children's spirit of adventure in a book written for them, A Penguin's Quest. Backpacker, photographer, filmmaker, and now children's author Scott McDermott joins us now to talk about a penguin who dared to dream. Sir, thank you for being here, and you've got quite uh, the resume we read through. Mm -hmm. How did all those things lead up to where you are now writing children's books? Well, thank you for having me on. Yes, uh, my day job is not really an author. I'm, I'm a photographer based in New York City. Uh, I've been shooting for about 25 years and uh, basically during the pandemic, I had some time off like we all did. And I had made up this story for my son and decided to finally write it down. We had made it up kind of stream of conscious when we we're when I was putting him to bed over the course of you know a few weeks, maybe two years ago, and uh, just used the downtime to, to sort of write it out and then kind of reached out to publishers and went down the the whole journey of getting a book published. You know, that's amazing. And I think even looking at um, some of the illustrations in this, this is something that everyone can get something out of, right? The book is rich with life lessons, information, entertainment, and wonder. What's the message that you want to send to kids? Well, thanks. Uh, yeah, the, the real sort of deeper message is really to kind of dream big and to just, mm. you know, go for it. And, and whatever that dream might be, even if people say it's impossible, or, you know, no one's ever done that. You know, we're penguins, we don't fly. If you have that dream, you know, if, if you chase it, if you, you know, really put your back into it, you could you can make it happen. I love uh, now, that. Yeah, that's cool. And this book is written for kids who read at second and third grade levels, but I suspect parents, <coughs> myself, uh, will enjoy it as well. Uh, you, wrote right. it for, you wrote it for your kids and that, that's cool. But uh, for parents, how do you feel like this is gonna affect how they tell stories to their kids? Yeah, it's it's definitely a little bit on the on the longer side. It's, you know, something for an early reader or maybe something a parent could read over the course of a couple nights. Um, it's not like a, a quick, you know, 10 minute type picture book kind of thing. But um, that means that there's a, you know, a story in there with a little meat on the bone. It's a little bit nuanced and and there's kind of three acts in it. So, yeah, that's it's um, it's a it's a fun read for for kind of everybody. Now, I don't know about your kids, but I know my godson is all about the pictures and the illustrator uh, that you worked with was Christine Anderson. Do you right. have any plans to work with her again and write more books? Sure. I've, I've got a few more books loaded up that I just haven't, uh, in, uh, you know, up here that I haven't written out yet. But, yeah, it's uh, it's something that, you know, it's kind of a new it's a new thing for me. And uh, now that I've done sort of one and gotten, you know, that out of the way, I, I could definitely see it happening again. So, yeah, and Christine was great. We, we worked well together, and uh, that could certainly happen. Well, Scott, we're looking forward to what you're doing in the future, man. And, and uh, of course, what you're doing now with this book of Penguin's Quest is available wherever books are sold. Scott, thank you so much for joining us again, man. Thank you so much for having me on. Oh, man. Now I know that I need to continue to dream big, right? And I love penguins. Just to let you know.